Welcome to a quick tutorial on TechPlot Chorus 2015R1. Today I'm going to go over some of the new capabilities for creating projects from index files, typically from a delineated file. In the case uh, we'll look at, it's going to be a CSV file. And I want to walk you through this quickly so you get a sense of how you might leverage this new capability in uh, setting up a project. So let's let's go ahead and get started. We'll actually start by looking at the CSV file. So the CS file, CSV file and is really for a very simple project. This project contains three configurations of a race car. This is uh, the Renault 2000 race car. And uh, within that CSV file, we actually have a link to the data file. And you'll notice that it starts just with the data file name. Uh, that has to do with the base uh, directory. TechPlot needs the base directory and from there you would actually put in uh, a link to the file if it's in a, a directory that's a subdirectory. So we have the data file, the raw data file, the layout. We have an image which was created and you can see that it's in a, a subdirectory. The type of case as well as the wing position and uh, the overall downforce. So there are the variables that we put in our index file. Let's go ahead and see how we can create a project with that. So I'm going to create a CSV project. I'll point to the CSV file and if I hit OK you can see that uh, we have now created a project where we have the three cases, thermal, fluid, the base configuration, and the normalized pressure. Now the the files that were in our index file, that is the link to the data file, to the images, if I had convergence or any other type of data, that actually has been handled behind the scenes. And so for any one of these cases, I can either view the image, and this is the image that uh, was attached to the CSV file, as well as the data file. So if I go to view data, you'll see that we have the data file, the raw data file, and the layout. So if I just use the data file um, and if I have a style template like rear wing and say OK, you can see that it actually brings the data into TechPlot 360EX. This is 2015R1, which is the most current release. And you can see that it opens up. So this is a, a view of the rear wing. Now what's interesting is that now you have the capability to quickly make style changes. So if I wanted to, I can turn on the contour of say pressure on that wing um, and that uh, maybe turn off the slice group and so now you're looking at a pressure profile and perhaps uh, we want to turn on the vectors as well and one can actually add the vectors and I'm going to hide some of the geometry here so now we're just looking at the blade itself and the vectors so if I decide, okay, this is a nice style, I can save this style as uh, data rear wing only. Once I have that style information, we're going to use that to generate some additional images. Now, TechPlot 360EX 2015R1 is about three times faster than uh, 2013. So when I go through and I create some additional images here, you'll see that the uh, going through and processing these data uh, is very fast. So we'll use the data file and not the rear wing. I think we called it, uh, let's see, I can find it. There it is, data, rear wing only. I'll hit OK. So it's going to go through and process. These data files, as I said, are on the order of uh, 5 to 10 million. And you can see it's already done. So the images have been created. I can deposit them into my project now. And if I uh, go in and take a look at uh, the normalized pressure here and do it by uh, case type and uh, then by tag and then have multiple tags. So you can see uh, here are the two types of images or I can even do that maybe by case ID so we can see all three of them and uh, if I want to take a look at the difference between say this one and uh, some of the other ones I can very quickly view those images if I chose to. So this is just a very quick overview of some of the capabilities of TechPlot Chorus 2015R1. Uh, please send feedback. If you have uh, some things you'd like to see in the product, we'd love to hear from you. You can contact us at support at techplot.com. Thanks for watching.